What is going on, guys? In today's video, we're going to be spectating some buyback solos. Now, I've never actually spectated a buyback um, gameplay on the channel before. And because it is buyback strategy and things like that, you know, it's a little bit necessary, but not as much as normal for dance. So in this video, we're just going to be spectating some randoms and having a little bit fun with it. But if you do enjoy the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel today. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. Now, the cool thing about this mode it's for those of you guys who are out here struggling to win your gunfights, guess what? This is the mode for you. Not only is this mode for you, but it's for everybody. This is such a blast to play. There's no reason. And I'm going to say this loud and proud for the ones in the back. There is no reason why anyone in a buyback mode needs to be camped up. You need to practice your movement in the verdance map you need to practice your rotations you need to practice your gunfight so what does that mean don't do what he's doing don't practice man get out there and fight that's what it means so right now ladies and gentlemen here we are spectating why i'm gonna go ahead and turn on streamer mode unfortunately we've already ratted him out all right he didn't last long mackie with the kill there we go if you guys are wondering why uh, we always usually have the same names it's because i turned streamer mode on and it makes names up so that nobody can say I'm bullying people. All right, so far, right, back to back, we've got uh, everyone trading. Hag killing Mackie, Mackie killing Y, and now here we are. Now, the first thing I will say <laughs> with the uh, first guy we're spectating is instead of turning on the enemy and trying to shoot back, he decided to run. If you guys break that habit, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get better. And why? Because if you run from an enemy who's already shooting you, he's going to kill you. Time to kill in this game is way too fast. Unless there's an extreme piece of cover nearby, there's no reason to ever run. You have to ego challenge the enemy if you're out in the open and exposed and vulnerable. But here we are now on the hag rocking one kill. I don't believe I hear anybody else around him. Lots of crates going on as well. Another thing, like what, what are we doing? Guys, again, buy back, have fun with it. Go buy your damn load out. Don't, don't open nothing, you don't need nothing else. And of course, the principle is to keep your money on you. I'm going to be honest. When I play it, half the time I do, half the time I don't. It just depends on if I'm trying to full send it or not. And I went ahead and got our load out. Now, again, let's go fight, man. It's so early in the game that I really wouldn't focus on having your $4,500 before you go and fight. Because all you're going to do is take that time away from you actually out here killing people. All right, we got Cali 6 and a riot shield. Oh, God. We're going to be blessed with some lackluster gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. All right, he's scanning right now. No idea if he should go down. Now, there's no windows broken. The doors are not open. There is an enemy back there, though. You just saw him leaving the gas station. Oh, unfortunate for our dude. Oh, 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 here we go. Coming in for the third party. Nice sun right here. This is a beautiful night. He needs to work his way around the vehicle. That matter, he's son. <laughs> he gets the kill anyway. All right, so Hag saying, you know what, Savage? You said I have lackluster gameplay, you big, ugly, bald bitch. Guess what? I got a kill. Let's see if he can capitalize. Now, I'm a, I'm a firm believer that if you guys play these buyback modes or even rebirth and you guys go after kills and stop focusing on wins and stop playing scared, you will be able to drop double digit kill games in no time. So those of you out there that are struggling to get a shit ton of kills, play with some aggression. Let's go. Let's get it. You'll die and it will get frustrating and you'll get pissed. You'll be cursing me off about an hour in, but if you stick with it, for a couple hours a day and guess what your skill will jump tremendously tremendously all right we got a vehicle part near the buy already alerting our dude hag that there's an enemy nearby now he's pretty observant dead body as well there's the guy popping up a mini map does he see it he does we actually have another player near us now in this situation here i don't know why he broke the riot shield out all he had to do was bounce the stun off of the wall hit the enemy on the other side and wrap around the fact that he just froze up the riot shield showed fear he had he had the tools he needed to get that easy melee kill and unfortunately he dies and we move on to monday again guys stop freezing up move maintain movement move your feet now he got the kill but again don't forget on the mini map before he ended up dying there was an enemy oh weird right in this building and here monday goes to not give a damn gonna drive away and uh there's the guy crouch walking this this is what i'm talking about right here this is it stop it why are y'all crouch walking, man? Who taught you guys this? Who? 
Point them out. Tag them asses in this video. Crash walking is never the answer. I'm sorry, guys. We're getting shot from another enemy to the no wrong tra yo, tracers, brother, and hit indicator. Come on, man. Don't know. Here comes the crash walking. Here comes the crash walking. All right. Enemy seems to have a little bit more uh, stability with his movement, but he ends up falling anyway. We had the high ground, but we were still pretty vulnerable. Now, this guy sitting in this building to the 191, that three story that we've been talking about. Um, Again, don't 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 do that shit. But Mundy sitting here rocking six kills. Now, guys, look, if you're like, but Savage, I just don't have the energy to get out there, fight everybody. Why don't you purchase some sneak energy, ladies and gentlemen? Use code Savage at checkout. This is fire. I don't advertise it if it's not good. It tastes great. It works. Variety of flavors. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, weird. Come on, one tap. There you go. There you go. Schultz, don't know what he was doing assigning the ego challenge, the enemy, us. I'm out in the open. Not really a smart play, I'm gonna be honest. Now I'm always for shooting vehicles, but at least dive back next to cover before you start shooting at them. We were literally able to swap to the passenger seat and shoot them to the windshield. Right, I got a helicopter on top of this building. Again, it's pretty much a given. There's probably an enemy here. I'd assume there's probably one at police station as well. And again, I'm still worried about this dude that's in the three story a little bit further back to hangars. So Mundy's just kind of trying to drive in a circle right now, looking for players. Here he is switching the seat again. He's just loving this move right here. He needs to hurry up before the enemy pops his plates. There we go. I do like how he's moving around. Now stay in your cover. Uh, he's got a shotgun. You're all right. I was going to say stay in your cover, but yeah, he had a shotgun. You can basically just separate from the enemy on that one. Be hot backwards to get the shots off. So now Mundy's rocking nine kills. Now look, guys. Mundy's not the best of players. His movement is okay. His shots are okay. He's got some IQ. We got to give him credit. You know, I'm not trying to hate on him, but he's an average player. I would put it out there and say he's probably a, a one KD player. And he's already at 10 kills with 72 left. Now, granted, I know it's buyback. I get that. But there's a lot of you guys, because I've spectated a lot of these games. There's a lot of you guys who are having trouble getting to 10 kills for an entire match. And again, that's because you guys are hindering your own ability by camping. Don't do it. Here he is with the third kill from the passenger seat. This guy's oblivious. He has no idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> All right. Did y'all did y'all notice how Zhang just literally rounded the corner and started plating and stopped? What do you do in that position, guys? Keep your feet moving. There's no reason to ever stop and plate unless you are literally between a rock and a hard place, meaning if you move, you're going to get shot. But that position there, he definitely should have rotated around, tried to just try to turn on us he probably still would have died but it's a better option because sometimes the players that are chasing you down the players that have the drop on you like monday for instance sometimes they'll make mistakes while you're playing ring around the rosie and you can capitalize on it a lot now here we have a sniper shooting at us from looks to be the I'm not really sure to be honest i have no oh don't get in the vehicle brother not yet okay i, I gotta say he's a little bit aware he's trying to He's, oh my God, this guy doesn't miss a shot, bro. Where is this dude? But I did like how he's plating, moving side to side, not sitting still, maintaining movement. And also at the same time, he's crouching and standing up. That way he can peek over the windows and over the hood of the car to try to see where the enemy was coming from. It looked like the guy was on the corner of the wall next to the plane. It was so hard to tell though. I'm gonna be honest, even I didn't really get that good of a look at the enemy it did look like he was relatively close but he was pretty accurate with the shots and we're gonna decide to go ahead and roll out i don't know if i agree with that i probably would have pulled up on the back side of the wall vaulted over and got some shots off on the enemy um again even even in normal verdance i never want to allow an enemy to to uh to live especially to start shooting at me if you know where an enemy's at and you have a potential to kill him you need to kill him now here me may, maybe his moment right here that was uh, dickerson Full sending it and bailing off of the ATV while it's midair. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. I think this is probably the sniper because the guy sniping looked like he could have had a rose skin. Then again, it's so hard to tell because them bitches are basically invincible. I mean, invisible. Sorry. Same thing. Same thing. All right, but we're at 12 kills already. 57 enemies or 57 players left, I should say. We got a fire still going on. We got a shit ton of money. Now, when it comes to buybacks, Use the money if you want to. Uh, I mean, 
UAVs are always a, always a good tool, but there's really no need to. People just keep coming back over and over and over again. If you guys just play an area, you could literally kill the same players over and over and over again. I don't recommend doing that because it, it takes away from your potential of learning and getting high kill games because you're going to be focused on getting that one or two kills over and over and over again. But it's always an option. All right, we got a Bertha pulling up the buy station over here to our south, 191. We also have precisions being launched at the wager houses over there to our east hand side as well. There's the there's another vehicle going through the tunnel. No, I wouldn't even worry about it. You don't have eyes on it. Now Mundy, Mundy seems like he's actually a competent player. I didn't give him enough credit. He granted he's not he's not super goaded. Don't get it twisted, but he may be a, a 1.5 KD player for sure. But he needs to get out of this area again, dude. Let's go get some kills. We know where enemies are at. Why not capitalize on it? Now, I don't mind him not going to the Bertha at the buy station. Actually, never mind. He's back in the Bertha. Uh, but I was going to say I don't mind it because, because the dude is probably on the rooftop camped up. I don't know if that's who just killed us. I don't think he would have had an angle, but he might have. Let's see. Let's see how who the hell just shot us in the head. Oh, Seacott coming in. The guy. What an angle, man. The guy that was driving the vehicle around actually positioned himself perfectly to shoot us through the cubby. Wow. Good shot. Enemy above us right now. Floating. Won't really worry about him. Again, when you have a UAV, you got to pull up your map and kind of analyze where to go. We have two enemies sitting in this area. Two enemies in this area right here. And, of course, I think this is the guy that we were just spectating. Probably going back for his shit. Now, look at these guys. You have two enemies sitting right next to each other. Nine times out of ten. Um, Actually, now three. Um, they know they're, they know that they're there, but instead of fighting each other, they're going to post up these buildings and hide like a bunch of baby back bitches. So I really hope Seacott just shoves this freaking Swiss down their throat down so deep that they can literally feel it come out of their rectum. All right. Really no need for heartbeat. We know where they're at because the UAV. Let's go ahead and push in here. Yeah. See the laser coming up the stairs right there. Yep. 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 Oh my God, bro. Lasers guys pay attention. If you see little red dots or green dots sitting on the wall and you don't have one that's an enemy fam come on all right see Kai, take it back i'm on point one katie no shots anybody with point one much love dudes all right now vargos knows the enemy's next to him let's see how he pushes this fight he's got one kill we got an enemy getting shot from fire tower he's just oblivious that the guy's actually in this building next to him also, Fire Tower has perfect angle on us right now, and they'll probably try to kept, they'll probably try to gatekeep us regardless. But it doesn't matter. Guy in the house goes ahead, camps us up, and shoots us in the face. All right, he did look like he was going to leave, but all of a sudden jumped out of the car, so maybe he heard the tracers. We'll see. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Yep. Yep. Here he comes. Here he comes to wreck the day. And instead of... Oh, there we go. Turn on the enemy. There you go. Hey! You got him, baby. Now Malkovit, Mal, Malkanov, Malkanov. I need to work on my Russian. Malkanov rocking five kills. Let's see what he does. Now this position here, because the circle is such a hard shift south, and we have 55 seconds, and you have downtown separating, you got to take the vehicle. I like the fact that he's popping his reloads, popping his plates, getting things that he needs, but he needs to go ahead and get out of here. I'd also try to replace that gas mask because yours is missing a tick. Not a huge deal, but I definitely would do it if I was him. Okay, here we are. Just swapping every gun in the damn world. All right. It's an open. <laughs> All right, bro. Whatever whatever you want, my guy. The world is yours for the reaping. Taking the vehicle, rotating. Now, a lot of people should know this by now. You want to go port. I'd avoid prison at all costs, no matter what the case is. Yes, the circle may favor prison, but... It's going to be a long, slow, boring game for everybody. And who the hell wants that? I'd rather lose the game and get more kills than win the game by posting up at prison. Port's a great spot, though. You definitely don't go here because of the sliver to downtown. You're 900% going to have to cross out in the open. And you're going to get killed by who? The guys at Port. Hopefully, we're one of those guys that does the killing. Although, it looks like we actually may be going... Okay. Woo! Oh. I was really, really, really getting nervous. He's going to go to prison. I'm going to be honest. Now we have money. UAV. You can buy UAV and still have your shit. We got a vehicle popping up on the mini map. We're super tunnel vision on the fact that we think there's a guy sitting in this little cubby. Not really sure why. All right. This right here, too. A lot of people, for some reason, they see a bunch of cover and they back away from it in fear. Don't do it. 
And we're sitting here, we're sitting here out in the open, slow walking backwards. We got a whole hill to our backside. We got a, a vehicle, literally a mini map behind us. People that will be rotating in from farmland and lumber. And we're sitting here just next to a bush. Oh yeah, that heartbeat ain't gonna reach my guy. Know the limits. Come on, man. Oh, but ladies and gentlemen, okay, Mal Malkinov literally feeling the heat on him. Three people spectating. This is his moment to shine. Another vehicle coming up behind us, still not even turning around to even look. Oh, kind of. We may get splatted here on accident. All right, hearing it, finally seeing it. 28 people up in this cir circle is a lot of players. And I don't, I don't understand it. I really don't. It looks like we are going to prison. I want to bang my head against my monitor. I'm not going to lie. And we're missing out again, guys. Look, it's buybacks, dude. Why, why would you play like a bitch? Don't do that. Go after kills, man. You guys want to get better? Do you? Stop worrying about the wins. Stop. If you guys are just consistently taking tests without studying, what's going to happen? You may get lucky. You may select C enough times to where you actually pass the test, but most of the time you're gonna you're gonna fail, right? Same situation here. Great arm and break. The enemy bailing away. Great reaction time. Another enemy coming behind us in the third party. And then the guy going back up the stairs. And I don't know his plate situation. He may be in trouble. Cervantes is getting some shots right now. We see laser beams on the staircase. So he's holding that angle. He may have gotten the kill. I really don't know what's going on. Activision. Can we please spectate someone else? Oh, hang on one second. Solzen, we're doing videos, but I love you. All right, Ferelli. I think this is the guy. So the, I believe this is the enemy that the last player we spectating actually cracked. Not the guy that killed us. It's not. And there, there's, there's the guy that ended up killing us, laying on the ground. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about anymore. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, here we are with Ferelli with three kills. And again, guys, look, three kills. Three kills and buybacks. And, and I'm not being a dick when I say this. I'm really not. I know a lot of people might get, might get offended. But again, if you're trying to get better, stop doing this. There's really no reason for anyone to get three kills consistently and buy back this late in the game. Good pop of dead silence. We're throwing nades now. I would have just worked the stairs. Again, we have dead silence. Let's go ahead and utilize this shit. Why are we spamming nades? The guy's just going to move away from the nade. Oh, look, he didn't know you were there because he had dead silence. Absolutely weird. But there was a second player. Be aware of that. There she is, right there. Hamburger boy going down for early not rocking five. And look, it's weird. When he moves his feet and he goes towards enemies, what happens? He gets some kills. But like I was saying, guys, you may get lucky sometimes. You may get some wins. But if you guys want to get better at this game, y'all want to win more consistently and get more kills, which in turn means have more fun, you got to stop caring about the wins right now. The objective of the game is to win 100%. Um, the players with the most wins are way more impressive to me than the players with the highest KDs. This is a battle royale. You're meant to win, but practice first. Get your gunfights mastered. Find out the classes for you. Practice rotations, and then once you've mastered all the pieces of the puzzle, guess what? You can go out there and start slapping some bitches. Good reaction time by Pirelli. Great headshot, brother. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got a we got a little bit of gas under us right now. There we go. There we go. I'm over here advertising sneak. I haven't had a sip yet. Jeez, there's no reason why I'm about to fall asleep. Slide cancel as well, guys. We're just sitting here on autopilot, auto running, basically. There you go. Pop that bitch. Slide cancel up a hill if you want. Slide cancel down the hill. Don't even matter. And oh, thank God. All right, scanning the hilltop right now. Now, normally, again, I'm against ADSing, but when you have ridges and shit like that that you can't really see with your eyes, I definitely want to implore you guys to ADS to get a better view. But if you're just watching out in the open, there's like two doorways and, and stuff like that, there's really no reason to ever ADS. Now, notice also he's not scanning the right-hand side. We we do have enemies probably rotating into our right. Um, we're going to have to worry about prison. This is a bad spot to be in. And again, this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to go prison, not just for the slow ending, but if the circle rotates away from prison, these guys are going to be killing each other off. And there's only going to be one person actually escaping this area. we got an enemy over here. We can go chase down. we got three vehicles, four vehicles, actually. So you can get a nice amount of kills. We're getting sniped at right now from God knows where, but we're going to go ahead and ego challenge the shit. 
out of these enemies while we're getting sniped at. Don't like this at all. We don't know where he's at when I do now. There you go. Leave your position. But again, bad position no matter what. We're between a rock and the hard place. He already pissed off the enemies down there. It's on the mini-map. Um, over to our... Over to our west. And now we're basically pinched between the guy in the tower and them. Now, if those guys down west weren't occupied, we'd be dead. This guy is hitting the shots, bro. I, do not, I would not challenge him. Go. Go. Yeah, I would not want to challenge that guy at all. Because even if you down him, he's probably got self-res. Not to mention right now with 30 seconds left, he could come back. Got another vehicle popping on the mini-map to the right-hand side, and here we are still just ego challenging. Go ahead and shoot him in the head. You stare you. It look weird. Weird! When you aim the crosshair at the guy's head and you pull the trigger, they usually die. Now, we have the enemy in a position where he's got to jump off. He's got to float. I hope you're good with your sniper shots because it's going to be an easy kill if you are. He's already popped the self-res at this point. There he is, jumping off. Beautiful shot for Relly. Knocking out the camping baby back bitch that's been in the tower for probably the whole damn game. And again, not really that much fun for Odian. He's probably miserable right now. Get on your feet, guys. Move around the map. Get some damn kills. I'm going to say that a lot this video. But ladies and gentlemen, here we are with nine players left. Eight players, one dying. Seven enemies remaining. So rocking seven kills. Enemy in front of us. Switch your weapon. Beautiful switch. I'm not really a fan of his movement, but it ended up working out because uh, Van just really wasn't with it. Granted, he had a basic bot skin. He's probably really new to the game, or he's actually a bot that Activision implemented in Warzone. Now, we do have a Bertha. Looks to be heading in our direction. We've got to be very careful about this. Laying prone. Not a fan of this at all. Going to be getting out. Going for the loadout. This is an easy kill. Let's go ahead and push it. You want to close the gap in this position, dude. Oh. Or not. Popping dead silence again. Not a huge fan of this at all. I think it's a waste of a daddy. If this enemy gets back in the vehicle, which he is, we're going to have a very hard time surviving. We get very lucky. The enemy dives left or right and misses us slightly. Now, one thing that's concerning to me is who threw the nade at the enemy. There he is. That's not cover, bro. They're shooting through that tree clearly. Wow. What do you guys think? Aim assist, luck, skill, or Cronus Max? Y'all be the judge. Let me know in the comment section below. This, this doubt, wow, okay. The jump shot, quick scope, when we were literally one tapped. I love that, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not accusing him of anything. I'm just, I'm asking you guys. I don't really have any thoughts on that one. Movement's very basic. Strategy's very basic, but... His, his sniper seems to be decent. That shot was definitely uh, nutty. You got to give him credit. Uh, if it's legit, you got to give him credit. Now, he sees the building, and this is where he wants to go to. This is a wide-ass open area. You're kind of you're kind of screwed no matter what. You need to be watching the tracers. There's an enemy shooting from the right-hand side, but he's also shooting left, so we now know where two enemies are at, possibly. The enemy could be baiting and distracting us. There may not be anyone over there. He may have shot a damn rock for all we know. But you want to play with some cover. And here's a beautiful ridge. I didn't even see this. I'm going to be honest. Didn't, I forgot I was even here. And this is great. Now, again, this is why I don't want y'all ADS. Because when you're ADS and you're scanning an area, you can't see everything. And guess what happens? We get sniped in the damn head. And now we have no plates. It's a 1v1 situation. And because, again, we were ADS, we didn't get to see where the glint was. And he was able to go ahead and deliver a final blow and get the W. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. GG's.